I'm Meredith Gorman, joined by one of the newest members of the Red Sox broadcast booth for this coming season, former Red Sox All-Star Kevin Euclid. And hey, Euclid, welcome and congratulations on the new assignment. Uh, thank you. Uh, pretty excited for this uh, and excited for what is in store in the future. Now, you did some work for Nesson last season in pre and post game. What is going to be the biggest transition for you as you make your way into the booth as an analyst? Well, yeah, there's going to be a big learning curve here that I've never done this before. Uh, so I'm pretty excited uh, just to work alongside Dave O'Brien. I uh, had the opportunity to do a seven inning game for an audition. But uh, for me, it's just about trying to pick his brain and learn from a lot of people that are in the broadcast uh, booth all, all over Major League Baseball that are going to give me some helpful hints along the way. All of Red Sox Nation certainly knows your name. You were drafted by the Red Sox, were part of two World Series teams here. What's it mean for, to you to be on the other side of things, calling games in the place where you helped make Boston sports history? Well, it's funny, I've, uh, I've been gone for a while. Uh, so now uh, I've been on the West Coast uh, in hiding as some people think, but I'm just, just kidding about that. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be exciting because you know, there was such a special part of my life that was dedicated to being a Boston Red Sox player uh, from the minor leagues going up in the major leagues. And along that way, there was a lot of great fans. And for me, the connection with the fans is everything. And, and this and this job's a little different because I can't really throw the ball. I can't hit the ball. I can't do all those things. But I can sit there and give a little bit of insight of what I know about the game, experiences I had along the way. And the players that I played with and their experiences that had a different mindset too, because in baseball, there's so many different mindsets of how to, how to do things and there's not one right way. So uh, I think through my learning experience of talking to teammates, I'll hopefully add a little more insight and information and that uh, some fans are, are wanting to hear. And uh, <laughs> I joke around, I was like, I'll probably get in trouble a few times with Red Sox fans. So luckily I'm not on Twitter anymore. Yeah, having that familiarity with Red Sox fans, how would you best describe what the fan base is like here? Passionate. Uh, passionate is the key uh, and, and accountable. Uh, I think if, you know, the, the key that I always tell players that are going into that market, we actually had a uh, first round pick here out of where I live now that I got to talk to Nick York. Uh, it was really cool speaking with him is the fact that, you know, they're, they're very accountable fans. And if you hold yourself accountable, better than the fans, you'll always be successful in the end. Sure, and looking at this year's Red Sox team, who are the players that you're most looking forward to watching this year? Oh, wow. Well, the, you know, the most interesting part of this is uh, there's still some free agents that are probably going to be signed uh, that are going to come to the team. So I think uh, for me, I mean, I've known Xander Bogarts for a long time, and I've always respected his game and loved watching him. So to be there consistently and watching him, he's, he's probably one of my favorite players to watch, a guy that flies under the radar. Uh, and, and with comparison to a lot of other shortstops around the league, they get a lot more hype. Uh, so for me, it's him. But, you know, there's some great young players that are, that are coming up that I'm really excited to watch. Uh, develop so like a, a Dahlbach and seeing how he transitions uh, from you know having his first full year into a second year uh, and, and Verdugo and 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 of course Kiki I, I mean I mean Kike sorry not, um, he's just he's just such a fun guy to watch and such a great teammate so there, there's a lot of guys I want to watch uh, I didn't mention any pitchers so I got I got to start getting to know the pitchers better as a position player. Well, as we all know, baseball season is finally actually happening. So prematurely here, we're going to put you on the spot. Uh, Yuke, what are your predictions for the Red Sox this season? Oh, this is great. Uh, I actually did a thing with my business partner. We did a little podcast. And last year, I just I took the Red Sox uh, to win uh, the division. Uh, so, you know, I, I think they have that great, that great possibility of doing it again. I think they can repeat that uh, with, the, with the foundation they have and, and some pieces that are going to be put together. Uh, you know, Chris Sale's coming back and healthier and, and ready to go uh, for the whole 162. Uh, so I, I really think that, you know, as long as the pitching holds up, as long as there's a really good amount of additions that are added to the bullpen and uh, on the starting rotation, I think they have a good shot of winning the division. We're going to go back on that statement uh, at the end of the season and see where you stand on that. But let's start with opening day. It's April 7th. So thinking back, you know, your times playing professional baseball, what was it like the first time you played at Fenway Park on opening day as a member of the Red Sox? 
Yeah, I still remember that day. Uh, it was 2005. Uh, and, well, I think it was like a week later I got sent down to AAA. But I remember, like, being there and just the passion and just and just everyone getting so amped up and excited for opening day in Boston. Because, one, the weather's getting ready to change. People have had a hard winter. So everyone's excited. And baseball is kind of that just – catalyst that gets people excited for the, the weather change and the changing of seasons with sports. Uh, so I, I just remember I was so nervous. I don't know if I played that day either, but just the excitement and the energy of, of the fan base in Fenway Park is unmatched on opening day. Well, baseball season is less than a month away. Thanks so much, Yuke, and we're so excited to have you rejoining us at Nesson. Oh, thank you so much. Excited to myself. PNC Bank, helping to make banking easier.